and now Mythos is the first chain to run eWASM on a Cosmos SDK chain. But Mythos also runs Cosmosm, the smart contract engine built for the Cosmos ecosystem. And today you will see how an eWASM smart contract can send an IBC message to another Cosmos chain. In previous videos, you saw how you can compile Solidity contracts to WebAssembly and deploy them on Mythos, and how these eWASM contracts can interact with COSMWASM contracts. The goal is for eWASM to have fine-grained control over IBC capabilities and to have two eWASM and IBC-enabled chains interoperate. In today's example, eWASM will send an IBC message indirectly through a COSMWASM contract that is connected to another COSMWASM contract on another chain. In future demos, we will explore a more direct approach. Before the actual demo, I will explain the setup that we have. We have two chains, chain A and chain B. Both of them are Cosmos SDK chains with eWASM and COSMWASM. And if you know the IBC reflect send, IBC reflect and reflect contracts from the COSMWASM examples, then it will be easy to understand this example. On chain A, we have our eWASM contract that will call the IBC reflect send COSMWASM contract, which in turn will send the message through IBC to the IBC reflect contract on chain B. This contract will forward the message to another COSMWASM contract named reflect that will just play the message on chain B. This slide just shows you how the COSMWASM IBC works. Each COSMWASM contract is assigned a port, which is WASM dot and then the address of the contract. So we can create multiple IBC channels between two contracts. In this particular example, when we create a channel between these two contracts, the IBC reflect contract also deploys a reflect contract and stores a mapping between the new channel ID and the address of this reflect contract. The address of the reflect contract and actually this mapping is also sent to the IBC reflect send contract on chain A. And after the channel is created, we can send messages from the eWASM contract on chain A to the reflect contract on chain B. So the eWASM contract calls the send messages method of the IBC reflect send contract with the channel ID and the messages to be sent. This IBC reflect send contract emits a send packet message that is transformed into an event and this event is picked up by the IBC relayer and presented to chain B to the IBC reflect contract, where based on the channel ID, it is rerouted to the appropriate reflect contract and the reflect contract simply emits the received message to be played on chain B. I have already prepared the setup and I have two chains running here and a relayer between them. I have deployed all the contracts and this is the eWASM contract that has the transfer on chain B method that receives a channel ID, uh, the receiver address, this is the address that will receive funds on chain B and the amount of funds that will be received. And note that these funds will be paid by the reflect contract. And what this function does is builds this bank 
send message which has this type of structure so it's a json we are building this json in solidity and then we are sending it to uh, the cosmosm contract address with the call opcode the cosmosm contract address is 32 bytes and it is received by this ewasm contract in the constructor so what we are doing is using our remix plugin to compile the solidity contract to a WebAssembly and then deploy it and we've given it in the constructor the address of the IBC reflect send contract and here we have the interface of the eWASM contract for the IBC reflect send contract this is the JSON schema and the address in hex format and back 32 we are on the mythos local one chain this is the first chain and i've already updated the admin of this contract to point to this ewasm uh, contract which has this address ypr so now we can query the admin and we get the correct address also, the channel between this IBC reflect send contract here and the IBC reflect contract on the second chain has already been created. It is channel 8. And the mapping between the channel ID channel 8 and the address of the reflect contract deployed is already saved in both the IBC reflect contract and the IBC reflect send contract. So we, if we go here, we can query for channel 8 and this is the address of that reflect contract it already has some balance sent to it and we can go to chain 2 this is the IBC reflect contract and we can query for chain 8 and we get the same address for the reflect contract also on the second chain on chain b we have this receiver address that currently has zero mite tokens so we will copy this and use it in the ewasm contract in the transfer on chain b this is the receiver address We will use channel 8 we see the IBC packet being handled by the relayer and we can see the new balance of our address which doesn't really show on kepler because we've sent it only a small amount we see the ibc packet being handled by the relayer And we see the balance has been updated the reason why we sent it a small amount is because the mite token has 18 decimals but the cosmosm contract was written using uint 128 so if we query the rest api this is the final balance so you have seen an interchain IBC message sent between chain A and chain B through Cosmwasm but triggered through an eWasm contract. In the next weeks, you will see demos of many innovations that we are implementing for Mythos, things that have never been presented nor implemented before. Join the Mythos Discord if you want to become a validator for this system and help test it. Mythos is a non-profit chain, but we are also preparing support 
for those who want to build for-profit chains based on our tech.